Hi, today I'd like to talk about a serious problem which is silverware shortage, especially in sterling. Okay, so we're about three years into the dramatic rise of the, the metals market, uh, silver, gold, etc. And it's had a, a giant effect on the availability of sterling flatware. Hollowware is another story, but flatware is what we'll talk about today. Okay, so there's a number of reasons for the shortage. Number one, many silver companies have gone out of business. Lunt is no more, Gorham is not making silverware anymore. There's just a, a lack, the companies are not there anymore. And the companies that are still in existence are not making much. Their focus is stainless steel, you know, sterling is a real sideline. So not much supply coming onto the market. And then there's the, the really big factor, and that is the melting that's gone on for the last three years. Huge amounts have been melted. The good, the medium, and a few things that should have been melted. But um, looking at things today, what I'm seeing is a lot of these silver and go gold buying places, they're going out of business. Uh, they're going out of business because a lack of silver and gold coming in. You know, they made a lot of money for a few years and now with a little lower prices for the metal and less coming in, they cannot stay in business. The estate buyers who went from city to city putting the ads in the paper and the ads on TV, they're almost a thing of the past. They had high overhead, it, they had to buy inexpensively, and that model just doesn't work with the lower amount of silver available. A, a good example of the shortage uh, is that um, coin shops that I talk to, they say the amount that's coming in is down 80% from what it was a couple of years ago. A friend of mine, who I'm not real proud of his business, his entire business is getting in silver knives and then destroying them for their silver content. He said that last year he dismounted 70,000 knives and in the last 10 years he's done almost 1 million knives. So that's 1 million knives off the market and if there's knives there's forks, spoons, salad forks also off the market to somebody else. Okay, so there's been a lot of silver that's been destroyed. Nothing coming on the market to speak of. Where are these shortages starting? The first shortage that we're seeing is in the recently discontinued patterns. One of them, one of the companies that really discontinued a lot of patterns was Tiffany. So like their wave edge pattern, knives have really gotten tough. San Lorenzo was never a big selling pattern. However, now that it's discontinued, people seem to be buying it. There's a finite amount of it, so it's, our inventory is certainly declining. King William is very popular. Can't keep it in stock. Can't get enough in to satisfy the demand. By the way, the most popular look these days is this plain rounded look. If you look at all the patterns that are plain rounded, King William, Hannah Hull, patterns like that, they're all popular. Salem by Tiffany is another one. They all sell. Hamilton also by Tiffany, a discontinued pattern. It's, it was not that popular. Now this discontinued, seems to be a shortage of the pattern, and again, the plain rounded look is leading to its popularity. Another area of shortage is the popular patterns, some of which are discontinued and some are not. Delicacy by Lunt, it's got a good look, it was made for a short time in very modern times, and you know, this pattern is short. Another pattern that is very popular is Queen Elizabeth I. Still made, very expensive for manufacturer, 
we just can't keep it in stock. There's just not enough of it out there that people are turning in that we can keep an inventory of it. Again, I wonder how much of it was melted, you know, during the last three years. Old Maryland engraved, Old Maryland. There's many patterns in this category, popular patterns where the supply is just not keeping up with the demand. And this is with a soft economy. It's, it's gonna to continue to be a problem. Okay, now, the one that's really surprising me are the less popular, older patterns uh, where there's not big, you know, there never was big demand, but slow, steady demand. So, Heppelwhite is a Reed and Barton pattern that we had real trouble keeping in stock. Again, there's normally slow, steady demand. There's just not enough of it out there for the people who want the pattern. Another one uh, like that is Plymouth by Gorham. We've sold a bunch of sets of this. People like the pattern. It never was that popular, but now there seems to be a, a real shortage of these sort of secondary patterns. Here's another one that's kind of interesting. It's Lady Diana. I had a lady call, she was short, so, some teaspoons that went in the garbage disposal. And so I said, oh yeah, well we can get you Lady Di Diana. I just was a little short of it at the moment, but I was like, oh, there's, you know, there, there's a dealer out there who'll have some. I looked really hard and couldn't find for quite a while any Lady Diana teaspoons. And that's what we're finding. You know, people have this as their family pattern. They want to increase it and it's just not out there. And as I say, the problem will continue. So, so there, there is a problem with silverware supply. What should you do about it? What can we all do about it? So if you have a set that you need pieces of and it's not one of the most popular patterns like Francis the First or Grand Baroque or Damask Rose or Old Master or King Richard, those patterns there seems to be no problem with. But if it's a little bit obscure or if it's a newer pattern that was discontinued and not made for a long time and you're thinking about passing it on to your children or grandchildren or dividing it and getting a few more place settings or something like that, it's probably not a bad time to do that before we have to tell you sorry, uh, we just can't find that pattern. The other thing that you can consider is investing. You know, a lot of people have invested in silver over the years um, and I think an investment in either the modern patterns the recently discontinued patterns or these popular but second tier patterns like the Heppel White, you know, probably would do well if you, if you had patience. Uh, you have two things going, the metal probably in the future will go up. They're not gonna make any more of those patterns and it's, it's probably something that would be a good investment. Thank you.